Praise God. Jesus bless this message. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Guys, I'm going to do my couple question and answers today. You guys have asked me questions. Um, but don't forget we have the barn today at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You go to JesusDoers.com. Find the big red barn and come in through the link. It's right there. You have to have the Google Chrome app because it's a Google Meet room. Okay? See you guys at 2 o'clock. We're studying the Bible. Okay. Tammy, your question was, how am I doing with the loss of my mom? Because you said your mom had dementia and on and on. And my mom had Alzheimer's and dementia. And I was very close to my mother. So how am I doing? I'm doing fine. You want to know why? And, and I wasn't expected by anybody, any, my, anybody that knew me and my mom. I was not expected to do fine at all. Okay? But why am I doing fine? Well, because I know my mom loved the Lord. And I know where she's at. And when I was with Jesus in the desert, I had the privilege of seeing my mother with him. So I know where she's at. He was warning me. As I told you, if you heard my testimony, you guys, 19 and a half years ago when I attempted my life, to take my life, and I was with Jesus in the desert, that's where he met me at. He showed me what I was supposed to be doing. Okay, he showed me my barn, which was empty at the time. He's warning me also. One more step, you're being out of darkness. You're not coming back. Make a choice, Kim. Your life is about choices. Okay, and he was also warning me about the future. He knew I was going to come back. He knew that. He was warning me about the future, which is why he had my mother there. And she was alive during that time, but she was there. So I, I understand very clear. When God wants you to know something, you know. When he's talking to you or showing you something he wants you to know, you will know. You will know. He, he's, there's some things only the Holy Spirit can reveal to you. <clears throat> like I'm surprised all the people that don't understand the baptism in the Holy Spirit. They really don't. They think if you swim through water, you get it. But that's not what does it, y'all. So listen to the Word of God and listen. Under, pray for understanding. Don't just try to throw your own understanding out there. You'll be wrong every time. Okay, when God wants you to understand and know something, you will know. Okay, so I know why my, why he showed me my mother that day. And I also know that he was warning me, Kim, in 16 years from today, you're going to go to hell on earth. Which is why I saw his muscles on his arms. I'm your strength, Kim. Which is why he showed me that fence. Kim, this fence is between me and you the whole time. Which is why he, that your sins, tear it down. Which is why he showed me the gate in the middle of the fence. Kim, you're a gatekeeper. You're supposed to defend this. You're supposed to be on this side of the fence, defending my word, defending my sheep. But you're on the other side, Kim. Get yourself together. So my mother was there with him that day. And I know when I got saved, I didn't know anything of what any of it meant till I got saved, which was when he took her home, which was, again, why he showed me her. Kim, when I take your mother home, you will understand everything I showed you here today. And I do. So when the understanding came was when I seeked the Lord and gave him full total surrender. Here I am, Lord. Okay. So how am I doing with the loss of my mom? I'm doing fine. I know where she's at. I know who she's with. And I know <clears throat> I'm here. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I have to carry on my life. I have a mission. I have work to do. God has me here for work to do. OK, and I'm going to complete my work and then I will go home and see my mother again. OK, and was my dad in my life, my father, my my biological dad? No, he was Cherokee and Jewish. OK, um, that's why that's how I learned about my Jewish bloodline and my Cherokee bloodline. I didn't know my dad. Uh, they split up when they were she was eight months pregnant with me. He was so violent towards the rest of my siblings and towards her. My mother saved me from that kind of violence. So I was never around him or his family. I met them twice when I got older, which is how I learned of our um, nationality, that we are Jewish and Cherokee and just how deep it goes. So uh, my mother was my mother and my father and a great job she did. So I never really missed anything. Um, God 
has led and guided me my whole life. I don't feel like I missed anything because I've had my mother that was being mom and dad, and I had God that really honestly guided me through my whole life. So I don't, I don't even know what it's like to have a biological dad. I really don't. Uh, I don't feel like I'm missing anything because I have my mom and I have the Lord. Okay. Um, Nicole, that was Tammy that asked that. Nicole, now you asked me, um, when did I first realize that this is what God saved me for? The day that I gave my life to him right up there at the top of that hill, the other side of that hill. When I said, God, here I am, total surrender. And I started getting, I meant that, and I meant it. And that's when I started becoming, that's when I got baptized, right up there. When I really gave myself to him and I meant it. And I came in this house and continued to be filled, continued to be filled. I came in and got in the word and started studying it, seeking it, knowing it, and doing it. And, con- and I still continued in it. So I am doing what the Bible says, continue to be filled in the spirit. Continue to be filled in the Holy Spirit. Continue. Be filled. Be filled. That's something you do. Go get it. You want it? Go get it. And I have continued to this very day. And as I have grown in the Lord, I understand everything that I'm supposed to do. That's how God works. When you seek him, you'll find everything what he wants you to do. You also asked, um, what's my favorite thing to do in the past time when I'm not teaching, preaching, or studying the word of God or counseling people when I'm not doing kingdom work? My favorite thing to do is to sit down and play my music, my guitar, my keyboards, my drum, put them, you know, put music together. Um, And what's my favorite food or snack? My favorite food is Thai food and is one particular dish called Pad Krapao or some places call it Holy Basil. That's my favorite thing with beef. And it's just, oh my goodness, y'all. That's my favorite thing. I, I, it's my most favorite thing. All right, to eat. So praise God. I will. I hope that answers your questions. If anybody else has any more questions about me, not about the Bible, I will teach you the Bible as I go. I'm giving you a chance to get to know me personally. You know, you can go in the comment section here, you guys. If you have a question about me or about my life or anything, ask it in the comment section. I'll pick a few that I'm going to answer or I'll let uh, Shanoa pick them for me. Pick me three or four that I'll answer for you. Go ahead and ask away question and answer get to know your teacher your preacher get to know the shepherd god has chose to shepherd over you here's your chance i'm pretty up front with you anyway but here's your chance to ask personal questions all right god bless you guys i will see you guys today in the barn at 2 p.m eastern standard time again go to jesusdoers.com you'll see the barn link god bless you make jesus lord of your life